All right, so it's time for game predictions. Um, Thomas, put up the, the thing from last week. I I have an appeal to make. Kendra Miller was inactive. I feel like that picks for me shouldn't count. I should be able to use I mean, Kendra sucks Miller to, two sucks more to be your role. <laughs> <laughs> But guess what? The Jewish Empire guessed the correct score the Saints would have. 13 points, he predicted. So he gets four points for that. Oh, wow. Dang. Also, plus one point uh, for Kevin and Dave for predicting the Chiefs to win. And for the fantasy star of the game, Paulson Adiba with only six fantasy points. Nets Kevin plus two points. <laughs> Chris Olave, three fantasy points plus one for Dave. And yeah, Kendra Miller minus two for Ralph. Minus two. I think he's fumbled or anything. Let's I look at the current standings. See if Mason Tipton would have caught that ball. Dang it. Oh, that is true. You're not kidding. Yeah, right. Uh, and current standings. Uh, Andrew is still in the lead. Extended his lead to 11 points. Uh, six Let's points go. for Dave. Uh, one point for Kevin. And uh, right now, uh, Ralph is in the minus negative points with minus All right, two. I guess, I guess I'll go first. Ta see... Thomas wouldn't let me do two scores. And, this and was it, golf. You'd be kicking our ass, Ralph. I would be. I'd be I'd be making the front turn on Thursday at Augusta in, like, fourth place. Um, I don't know who's going to start at quarterback. I love when people who don't know anything about golf talk about golf. And uh, <laughs> I just – I want to believe. Like, I – I want to believe that like something magical is about to happen with the Saints and like Spencer Rattler is going to be amazing and all these people that are they're going to dig up my old tweets about how he's probably not going to be that good and they're just going to dunk on me all week and like think they're doing something great like like I'm unhappy that the Saints win but I just don't see it. And here's the thing. Like if you if you if you said this year if you said listen the Saints are going to have to start Rattler or Hayner for like two weeks, what would be the absolute worst stretch of games to start them? It would be Tampa and it would be Denver because Denver's fourth in EPA on defense and Todd Bowles is like the grandfather of like the exotic blitz from every angle. Like this is a nightmare for a person, a quarterback making their first start. And I just have this feeling that. Uh, I'm going to be at the game with my son and my wife and I'm going to be in line for Dippin' Dots and I'm not going to be mad about it because the Saints are going to be getting drilled. Whereas usually like my son, he wants to go to the shop and buy a hat. He wants Dippin' Dot. He wants a hot dog. He wants this. He wants that. And I'm like, oh, come on. Can we watch the game? I feel like Sunday, I'm not going to be that upset because I feel like the Saints are going to get their head kicked in by Tampa. Um, so I said, I think ten, Thomas, did I say 23 to three Tampa? Yeah. Yeah. That's so correct. like, that's, that's where I am. I guess you're picking Blake groupie as the MVP then. Uh, sure. Thomas do Blake groupie as MVP. That's, that's, a, that's, <laughs> as, that's as good as any. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, didn't you pick groupie? Well, uh, I, I think we I saw just... a spoiler alert. I think Thomas just messed up and. Showed us Brian Brissy was Kevin. Yeah, that's right. So we'll do Kevin next. But <laughs> let me. Well, that's a terrible uh, pick. But wait a minute. Uh, I was getting a drink. Uh, Andrew, shut up. You're giving like Ralph is terrible at this. He's in fourth <laughs> place, and you're giving him decent ideas that he's going <laughs> with. Like, let him dig his own grave. Stop I helping mean, him. I you mean, think I'm helping you him said, by like, giving him a guy who can't make an extra point. I mean, and yeah. him telling me it's a good idea. Maybe no, he knows. Maybe he knows. I'm playing chess and Ralph's playing checkers. Maybe. maybe the good idea I gave him was a terrible one that he then thought was good because he only picks terrible no. things. No, Dave Paulson Adebo with six fantasy points won last week. I have to think Groupie's going to get two kicks. <laughs> but here's the, six points. Here's the here's the thing, Dave. Andrew wants Blake Groupie to be bathed in the Marlboro fantasy stink. So the Irish right. kicker can get on the right. roster. Yes. Right. No, That's what it. he's doing. It. Well played, yeah. Andrew. Well played. So good get to Kevin Thomas. I, this is just the general question. I'm not planning on doing this. But if I pick K-Ball, the punter, how is that? 
Is can can that even be can he even be picked? No. Is there any he, way to judge his fantasy? He can, no, but if he, if, if, he can. if he blocks a punt day, if, if they have a punt block, Thomas will put you. You'll have like negative a thousand. <laughs> like I will disqualify you from the competition. Altogether. I guess he could have a punt so bad that the kick coverage gets owned, and then he makes the tackle and gets a fantasy point. By the oh, way, special go. teams were low key ass against yes. Kansas City. Yes. And it wasn't that low key either. Hmm. That's on Dave. Pick, picking <laughs> hayball for picking hayball for my guy would be about as stupid as uh, yeah. Ralph taking Panthers money line. Mm-hmm. Panthers All right, so line. Kevin picks Percy. What else? Yeah, what else let's do score? Kevin last since I spoiled it, and uh, you cannot pick Brzee just you know. Yeah, go Dave. Why would he pick Brzee? Why? I, I don't get. That's a, Why that's not? An out there pick. He picked Adibo oh, last week and he won. He's Shut not the even. Fuck up, he's man. not even a nurse. I mean, it's so weird. How how does how does defensive scoring work anyway? How many points do you get for like a sack? <laughs> uh, I think three points for a sack. I, we points. saw this with the Saints during Katrina. I feel like there's this dead cat bounce every time you're like playing for your city. There's like this, you know motivation and you, that you're playing for something greater you're doing it for the um, city and i feel like teams on the heel yeah they've been displaced and they're bonding together in new orleans and it's a divisional matchup and you know the saints are injured to hell and and i, I just think they're going to bond together and i i do think tampa might feel the ill effects and the downstream effects of the hurricane and the de- devastation potentially like down the road but i think for this week we, yeah. Again, we saw it with the Saints Katrina week one against the Panthers winning an emotional game. I think the Bucks will be focused. 2021 um, against Green Bay. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to – Bucks 27, Saints 10. Uh, hard to see the Saints putting up a lot of points right now when you consider new quarterback, offensive line is dead on arrival. Um, <laughs> we don't even know if Taysom Hill's going to play. Um, so, you know – Jawan Johnson will get in the end zone. You can give me him. And we don't know who's going to get injured and walk through on Saturday. So it's, it's, you never know. (laughs) Yep. 27, 10, Jawan Johnson, please. Oh, this is sad. Put it on the board. He's due for a monster four catch, 27 yard performance. Spencer Rattler might be amazing. Minus two points for Andrew incoming. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right dave go ahead all right it's my turn um yeah you know i didn't think about that whole i i was thinking earlier i was thinking how tampa maybe maybe they won't be so good since they've evacuated and they'll be out of sorts and practicing in yeoman at tulane's campus tulane do but, shenanigans um, like make the showers not be warm yeah i could talk to do some people to talk I mean, to if anybody <laughs> If anybody could make um, it happen, uh, don't I'm let them make it to Glazer um, Club. Yeah, um, but I hadn't given thought or credence to the fact that uh, yeah, they might get up for this game to you know really rep their city and like you said, the dead cat bounce kind of thing. So, uh, but it doesn't matter. I was never going to pick the Saints to win this game. I don't think they have a chance in hell, especially not with Carr now. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to roll with Hayner. I think uh, I think picking Saints Rattler. CG. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be the quarterback. I don't know. I, I know Nick Underhill's dropping crumbs about Rattler, but I, I, I'll say this: I don't know whether they have the balls to play Rattler. I don't know whether this coaching staff has the balls to play Rattler. I, I don't know whether they have. No, I don't know whether they have the youthful, the youthful exuberance and fun uh, to just say, no, you know what, Dave, fuck it, let's play. Rattler. That's a gr- that's a great They're too point. Stiff. They're too, this, they, this is too stiff of a coaching staff. Dennis they do everything feels by the like the safe. Play it by the book guy. Yeah. Hayner's been there for two yeah. years. That's yeah. a good I think, Dave, that's a good point. Like, like Dennis, Dennis Allen doesn't strike me as a, let's get weird with Spencer Rattler. No. If they, had, just, if they had any balls, they would start Taysom. <laughs> yeah, but his ribs, I don't are, think that's his the ribs are chalk. First of all, Taysom's injured. And second of all, I, I, think that's, I think that's an issue now, given Kubiak's offense and how we like to run it. And we saw the first two games, we were so successful. And a lot of that was because of Taysom and his blocking and, and all the stuff he does when he doesn't have the ball. So I'm not sure that, I don't know if Taysom would be the best option. But anyway, um, Andrew and I, I think, are on the same page here. We were very close in score. We were kind of close in score uh, last week, too. Uh, I had the Bucks 
27 also. I'm giving the Saints an extra field goal. I'm going to give Groupie one more. 13. So Bucks 27. Saints Ugh, 13. Gross. Um, hmm. I'm not sure who to go with here for my offensive player here. And I don't. I don't. I could go deep. I could go deep. Ooh. I'm going to go with. You know, he had a good game. I saw somebody tweet how good of a game he had. I'm going to go with Chase Young. Oh, yeah. Damn. Chase oh, Young. Wow. He's coming off a good game this past week. Dave, do the, do the does Tulane have a home game today this week? No, we have a bye. That's why. Yeah. All, that's so I was going to say the Glazers are the Glazers going to show up early and be in the Glazer Club, but I guess not because they don't have. Um, oh, weren't you already no, picked but... Chase Young, Dave? Oh, <laughs> I did. Oh, okay. The first right. week, man. points, Thomas. No, he's trying no, to scam no. us. I, first I'm not week. To scam. Uh, that's weird. Why did I do that? Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, let me go. Good thing with, I double checked. Um, no, good thing you did. Um, I'm gonna go. You know who? I'm gonna go with Carl Granderson. Oh, oh see that? I don't like all that. Because right, right. that that if he does really well, then Juge gets to talk about how that's his UDFA son. Terrible idea. Um, and then addressing Ralph, addressing your earlier point. Um, it's not unusual for the Glazers to be at a at a game at Tulane. They're they're, they're they come pretty regularly. Oh, wow. It's nice. All right. Take the damn thing. Nate, Might as well use it's it. Am- it's amazing. My so son did Ke- is, did my Kevin son make this unanimous? What do you think? I think I think probably. Just the box, probably. Yeah. I don't see how there's any way you could have watched yesterday's game and, and picked uh, the Saints. So let's r- reveal it then. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. What an idiot. Saint wow. Kevin <laughs> picks the Saints. Buck 17. Wow. Wow. 20 to 17. He thinks the Saints, he, he's feeling himself some Spencer Rattler magic. I mean, listen. If, mm. here's what I want to end, because I like to end on a positive note. If the Saints pull this off, Sunday, and it's Spencer Rattler. Where would it rank in I'm going, I'm going most crazy. fun going Saints Twitter, social media, our post game show days if they pull this out? Mm, it's right up there with maybe uh, CJ, GJ, Mike Evans. Uh, that was fun. I mean the CD the CD Deuce game Sunday night against Tampa was pretty amazing when they won nine yeah. to nothing. Yeah. The green Yeah, that one. Yeah, that the one. Green Bay game 2021 was pretty amazing. Um trying to think. The, the oh, beat Washington, Atlanta beating Atlanta, uh Jameis Winston, the comeback. The oh yeah, that was fun. Season opener. The, the buttception game yeah. <laughs> in twenty seventeen. The the um the Buffalo game weirdly, the audio is like pre Thomas level, so it's not great. But if you could ever find that podcast where they just beat the absolute crap out of the Bills and they ran the ball like thirty times in a row to end the game, that was one of the most fun like podcasts we've ever done because that was kind of the moment in twenty seventeen where yeah, they we were shut like, them oh. down, right? Yeah, and it was like. That was like the moment in 2017 where we were like, oh my God, the Saints are a Super Bowl team again. And like we they're like they, like the the seven and nine malaise and all that, like it's done. Like we're a contender. This is gonna be fun for a while. Uh so that's fun. But I, I mean, if they win with Spencer Rattler on Sunday, like we are gonna we are gonna lose our minds. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, and finally go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.